she was in Walmart and I was sitting in the truck and I went to get, uh, went to Wendy's and get hamburger and I was sitting in the truck eating a hamburger when this crazy feeling hit me. And then uh, I thought, you know, I better, I better get her to the truck as quick as I can because I don't know what this is going to be like. And uh, she told me to get in the passenger seat. I told her I didn't feel good and she was going to have to drive home. And she told me to get in the passenger seat. Well, that was it. I mean, I couldn't do anything. That was, that was when everything quit working. He was slurring his uh, words. That's what he'd called me and I knew within seconds that he was having an issue. And I, I ran, literally ran out to the truck. And he was kind of, he never lost, un, he lost consciousness, but he was kind of slumped over the seat and he couldn't move. And he, he couldn't really talk. He was able to tell me he was dizzy a couple times, but I, he was speaking so low that I had to get my mouth, um, my ear right on his mouth almost to understand what he was saying. But I knew right away that it, it wasn't any kind of situation that we could handle, that I had to call 911. I didn't realize I was having a stroke until they told me at Johnson Willis. He said, this artery right here goes up to a point and he said it's supposed to branch out. He said, this is where I think the clock is. And he says, we gotta get that out. When you're considering a stroke, uh, you're on the clock, right? So time is brain. So getting to a facility that can promptly diagnose and treat the stroke is of, of paramount importance. Uh, Mr. Rice came uh, over to us briefly after his symptoms started. Uh, we were able to accurately uh, diagnose him uh, began treatment uh, and get him shipped over to our, our receiving facility, Johnston Willis, rather quickly. Being a comprehensive stroke center means that we provide the highest level of stroke care possible to our patients. We have advanced imaging to detect strokes and we also have advanced treatments for the care of the stroke patient. So if, if you're having the type of stroke that's caused by a clot, we can administer medicines to break up that clot, but we can also go in via catheters and retrieve the clot um, that, that's causing the lack of blood flow to your brain. If you're having the type of stroke that is caused by bleeding, we also have a number of tools available that we can go in and coil those, that bleeding area to stop the bleeding. We can bypass the bleeding area, and we can also go in surgically and apply a clip to that, that area um, to stop the bleeding. I can't thank them enough for taking such good care of all of us. Like I said, we've been here before. They've always been great. Um, We've never had to wait. I mean, I don't. Most time, I've never even sat down in the waiting room. We just <laughs> come right on, on by. It's it's just been really awesome. They're awesome people. Always friendly. Always caring, concerned. It's just wonderful. Well, you just think of what it could have been. You know, where you could be right now if it hadn't have happened. I mean, if if things hadn't worked out like that. And uh, you know, a lot of people think, well, this this is not going to happen to me. You know. I'm, you know, even, even, you know, I've never thought that myself, but you know, you, you think, well, you know, here I'm 69, and you think, well, I should be good to go until I'm about 85, you know, and, and that's not true, not necessarily true, you know, because it can, I mean, um, it can happen to, to anybody at any time.